हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज वृशाली इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट डिजाइन कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड यूजर इंटरफेस डिजाइन मॉडल विथ एग्जाम्पल आई हैव मेंशन कंप्लीट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट प्लेलिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक आर्किटेक्चरल डिजाइन मॉडल एज पर यूर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिजाइन मॉडल architectural design model their importance decisions styles views and some important questions that have asked in previous year question paper let's see all these points one by one as we discussed earlier there are four types of design model in software engineering this design model represent data structure program structure interface characteristics and different procedural details in the form of design in previous session we discussed about data design model and user interface design model with example in today's session we will discuss about architectural design model now what exactly architectural design model the name suggests that architecture architecture means the complete structure of particular product or the project for example college management system application so in this particular project there are different modules users functionality database features right so everything have mentioned in one diagram this is called as architectural diagram this diagram also called as blueprint of system means how your product look like in future this all things have mentioned in one diagram now this architectural design model contain different set of hardware and software components means which type of hardware used in particular product which type of softwares database modules frameworks are there so everything have mentioned in one diagram they also mention the coordination and communication between all the modules and the components basically they mention complete data flow complete workflow of particular product and the project this semantic model help designer to understand overall properties and functionalities in particular system this architectural design model send forward to the developer team for development purpose the next thing is importance of software architecture the software architecture generated in this way that they provide the security towards your product they mention in design different login credentials authentications like otp this all types of features that's why they secured your product against malicious users and different types of viruses software architecture also handle the performance of your product they handle request and response of page in minimum time the best example is google search engine you can search on google and they show the result within a second right now software architecture also easy to modify and replaceable components because customer requirements are continuously changing so they can easily modify a particular components features in particular product software architecture also provide safety towards the customer they generate a particular product as per the customer requirement and customer safety related features are there software architecture also handle different types of errors components and the complete flow of system the next thing is decisions of architectural design see there are different types of software applications apps are there right in daily life you can use banking application online shopping application then gaming application uh, railway reservation applications social media applications right so every app having different architecture different functionalities are there right but still there are some questions that will be helpful for each and every software applications before generating a design here designer discuss some types of questions designer discuss how can the system be distributed across the network they discuss that the particular product used at state level country level international level or particular organization level they understand the distribution of particular network designer also discuss complete structure of system architectural style then software architecture documentation then which type of modules are there then control of operations how each and every components are interrelated with each other so this all cash questions have decided and after that they take a decision for generating a architectural design the next topic is taxonomy of architectural style as exam point of view this all types of architecture is one of the most important question there are four types of architectural style data centered architecture data flow architecture 
ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड आर्किटेक्चर एंड लेयर्ड आर्किटेक्चर लेट डिस्कस वन बाय वन द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर इज डेटा सेंटर्ड आर्किटेक्चर द नेम सजेस्ट दैट डेटा हैव स्टोर्ड एट सेंटर प्लेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी हियर इन दिस डायग्राम दिस इज अट्रलाइज डेटा राइट एंड मल्टीपल यूजर एक्सेस दो डेटा एट अ सेम टाइम दिस इज कॉल्ड एस डेटा सेंटर्ड आर्किटेक्चर जनरली दिस डेटा सेंटर्ड आर्किटेक्चर कंसेप्ट यूज इन पर्टिक्युलर ऑर्गनाइजेशन इन डी बी एम एस इन लाइब्ररी इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम लाइक दिस सी हियर इन दिस डायग्राम दिस इज अ लाइब्ररी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम डेटा बेस एंड देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ यूजर्स लाइक स्टूडेंट डेटा बेस सप्लायर मैनेजमेंट बुक डेटा बेस देन अ स्टाफ सो एवरी वन परफॉर्म द पर्टिक्युलर एक्शन ऑन दिस डेटा बेस एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स राइट दे परफॉर्म अपडेट एड डिलीट मॉडिफाई दिस काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेशन ऑन द सेम डेटा बेस दिस इज कॉल्ड एस डेटा सेंटर्ड आर्किटेक्चर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ डेटा सेंटर्ड आर्किटेक्चर्स आर देर आर इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ क्लाइंट्स मीन्स एवरी यूजर परफॉर्म एक्शन एज पर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स इट इज वेरी सिंपल टू एड एडिशनल क्लाइंट्स हियर लाइब्ररीयन एड एडिशनल स्टूडेंट्स एंड स्टाफ इट इज वेरी इजी टू एड डिफरेंट यूजर्स दैन मॉडिफिकेशन ऑल्सो इजी इन द पर्टिक्युलर डेटा बेस बट द डिसएडवांटेजेस आर डेटा सेंटर आर्किटेक्चर दे परफॉर्म एवरी ऑपरेशन एट अ सेम टाइम that's why there are duplication values i have generate and changing in data structure is affect on client because they perform update add delete at a same time right so this is called as data centered architecture the next type of architecture is data flow architecture the name suggests that data flow means they handle a complete input data that to be transferred into the output data flow of particular product see here in this diagram here this all lines these connectors are called as pipe and this filter are called as components so they show the flow of complete system pipe is a connector they passes data directionally the directions have show that is input to output form and filter means there are different actions different functions different manipulations have performed in this particular filter component the best example of data flow architecture is google search engine see client search something on google for example client search software engineering tutorial then this request sent to the web server web server check this query in database then database display different types of software engineering tutorials towards the customer right means particular data flow is there this is called as data flow architecture the advantages of data flow architecture is there is a concurrent execution is supported means from client side request web server web server request database server database server display result again this result show to the client right means there is a concurrent executions are there but the disadvantages are that does not allow greater user engagement the best example of this see when your result was declared so all students search a particular result site your university site right or sometimes this particular website get hanged because multiple users engagement are there right or same thing happen with your scholarship uh, websites right so they does not allow greater user engagement this is called as data flow architecture now the next one is object oriented architecture so basically object oriented architecture is foundational building block of particular software this is a base this is a foundation of your particular product i think you already learn op subject where you can learn this all types of concepts and term so these all terms are necessary while designing or developing a particular product so object object means instance of class there are student person company so this kind of objects are used as per the project requirement then class class means collections of different types of attributes methods are there encapsulations means the binding similar types of element similar types of data like student marks in one encapsulated then student uh, gaming information is there then student awards are there this all things are called as encapsulation abstraction means they remove irrelevant essential details from the user they show only required information to the users inheritance means there are a parent and child relationship is there right then polymorphism there are multiple forms are generated and message passing means sending and receiving data through the object in particular product so these all concepts are used for generating developing and designing a particular product this is a base of complete software application 
Now the next one is a layered architecture. So layered architecture here data move from one level to another level for processing purpose, which is called as layered architecture. See here in this particular diagram, the outer layer is user interface layer. For example, user interact with particular software. User use WhatsApp, so they use their front end functionality, front end uh, interface only, right? So this is a user interface layer. But intermediate layer, there are application layer, utility layer. Application utility layer means which is related to the server like HTTP, HTTPS and core layer related to the programming database means there are particular layered architecture is there, right? The best example of layered architecture is e-commerce web applications development like Amazon, Flipkart or Google search engine. These are the best example of layered architecture. See here in this diagram here client search something on internet means the server is there. So server access those information from this database. Database give the result to server. Server give the result to the client, right? Means there is a particular layered from presentation logic to data layer, right? So this is called as layered architecture. Now the next point is architectural view. Now the, there are different types of architectural and database designs are there, right? So there are different stakeholders, different users use those architectural diagram, but there are different views of particular architectural design. The first view is use case view means how user use a particular product. This is a one type of view, right? User use a particular product as per the requirement, right? So this is called as use case view. Use case diagrams are used. Next one is a design view. Design view means which type of components are placed means which type of text box, button, check box, radio button. So everything have placed in one particular form, right? So this is called as design view. They show the information, features, entities, attributes in one particular form. Then process view. Process view means the flow of system, the communication behavior between different modules, different applications. When you click on submit button, the next page will be open. So this is called as process view, the behavior of particular system. Next one is the implementation view. So implementation view related to the source code developer or particular database related functionalities. And last one is the deployment view means after completing your product, your product deployed to the customer environment. For example, college management system application. So after developing this product, this product deployed at a college level at particular organi organization. So this is called as deployment view. They handle, describe and explain complete environment of particular system. Now these are the some important questions that have asked in previous year question paper like explain data flow architecture with need diagram for seven marks, explain layered architecture with diagram seven marks, explain data centered architecture for seven marks. Then what is architecture? Explain architectural context diagram. Here you can draw any uh, architectural diagram as per your example. So these all are the important questions. You have to prepare these questions in detail. So thank you. Keep learning.